Um, so, well, let me ask you this. How, how long is the time between when you finish your final draft, have that edited, copy edited, all that good stuff, um, and the time that you launch? Is there a long window or relatively short? When do you, when do you start preparing for your launch versus when you're just creating the product? It depends a lot on if I'm doing pre-orders. If I'm doing pre-orders, then um, you know, no more than 10 days ahead, it has to be done, or no less than 10 days ahead, because that's when you have to upload. Um, and sometimes I, boy, I scrape right up against that deadline because I've managed to have life interfere and not get the book done as quickly as it needs to. Um, but like, for example, I'm already done with book one in this series and it's not Mar It's not releasing until March. And that's because I've laid out a plan of how to, you know, attack this, this goal that we have. And that involves having a longer pre-order and having time between books to do certain kinds of promotion. And it's, you know, so it just really depends on what what the plan is. Some books I don't have pre-orders at all and I just release them when I'm done because people are either waiting for them or I just, I'm done and I want them out there because I I want the world to read it you know, or something like that. Um, so it really depends. I, I wouldn't say, the thing that people miss is not that they didn't launch it short enough or long enough or in a particular way, it's that they didn't have a plan in the first place. Like I, I've seen people come and they're like, I launched a book, I uploaded, I'm so excited. Now, how do I market it? And I'm like, dude, 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 you should have thought of this months ago. <laughs> like how you're gonna market it. Don't wait until after you've published the book to decide to come up with a plan of how to market it. Now that's really hard to do when you're new in the field, right? It's like your first book, how are you supposed to know? Well, I didn't know either and I still made a plan. <laughs> It was a, probably a good plan in some ways and a bad plan in other ways, but that was the whole idea is make a plan and figure out what the good and bad parts are and then do it again. And another problem I see with authors is sometimes they're like, well, I'm just going to try it. Uh, I'm going to dip my toe into the waters and see if it's warm and then I'm going to scurry away if things don't go great, you know, but if it's magic and everything is wonderful, then I'll stay. And it's like, no, 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 no. You can't do that either. You've got to make a commitment to get in the pool. Just just get in the pool and do the thing and see how it works. And then you can make a reasoned decision of like, well, do I actually enjoy being in the pool? Or does it did I almost drown and it sucked? And now like I never want to do pools again. You know, that's that's when you can make a rational choice about whether this publishing thing is for you after you've actually done it a little bit. I think most people, when they get in, they have a bad experience, and then they're like, that's it, I'm done. Which and is maybe... great for, for folks like us that feel the market might be a little overcrowded anyway. <laughs> Wonderful. You've tried that. Go do something that makes you happy. Leave, right. leave the space open for the rest of us. Right. Well, I'm not super worried about competing with people so much as I just want them to actually find something they enjoy. You know, like, don't do this if it makes you miserable. It is not, like it's not worth it <laughs> you know like the only reason to do this is if you actually enjoy it you know it's just too much hard work otherwise so well let me uh let me ask to just to refine and give some kind of strategy because you're coming at this now well it, it sounds like if, if i'm hearing you right one it's good to have a plan and execute it on it even if it's the wrong plan as opposed to having no plan and just throwing your hands up and, and doing the best am i hearing that right Yes, that's what I call hope marketing. Don't do hope marketing. Hope marketing is like, I hope it works. <laughs> it's like, Every you once know, in a while, a there's, there's an Andy Weir, <laughs> but we, we can't all yeah. be Andy Weir, tragically. Uh, but then let me ask you this. So now that you, you, you've you done, this isn't your, your first rodeo, you've done this several times quite successfully. So bringing that knowledge in with your new project, uh, you, you said you're going to launch book one in March. So when then do you plan to launch book two and book three? And at what stages of completion are those books? Um, I'm only two chapters into the second book right now. And uh, so I need to, and right now I'm not even working on the book. I'm doing estate planning and taxes and the business side. Um, but the second book is going to launch 90 days after I finish it. 
And I have that set that's unusual for me that it's that specific. Um, there's a couple of reasons for that. One is I want to leave enough time between book one and book two that I can set book one free and try to get a book bub. And if I get a book bub and that pumps up the pre-orders for book two, then it has a better chance of hitting the list. All right. So I want to leave some time for that. But I also have, um, for the first time for me, it's the first for me under either pen name, um, I have Audible is got a contract. I've got a contract with Audible to produce the audiobooks. And they want to produce them so that they're ready at release of the ebook. So this is exciting. I'm excited about this. Um, and I've already shipped the first book off to them, but they need like 90 days to, from the time they get the book till the time they can release the book to do the production. So my, my thought process is I'll finish the book, book two, whenever I finish it, hopefully soon. And then 90 days from then, Audible will have their 90 days to do the, the audio, audio book. And that'll give me enough time with my other marketing too. So it kind of all works. And it'll be the same for book three as well. A um, little unusual situation there. So what would work for a particular book in general, if you're not doing pre-orders, so like I'm doing pre-orders because I'm wide, okay? I'm on all the retailers. And that's a really important strategy is having free books and, and doing pre-orders, really important if you're wide. If you're in KU, Kindle Unlimited and you're exclusive to Amazon, um, much more important to get books out fast. So I would be publishing these books every month, probably every 30 days to take advantage of the momentum that comes from Kindle Unlimited boosting you up and being on the new release list and stuff like that. So different strategies depending on how you're releasing or where I guess you're releasing the book. That make, 